and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We're using the Optimum 400 juicer to make a juice today full of kale, carrots, celery, all those stringy and fibrous vegetables that some of you have had trouble with in the past when juicing. There's a couple of techniques to get great pulp-free juice without blocking the juicer. And this is the same for all slow juicers in this upright position. A masticating or slow juicer squeezes or crushes, it can't possibly cut. So you do actually need to remove the leaves from the stalks when you're using things like kale or silver beet um, and spinach. Leave the stalks and leaves separate. You also need to chop both the stalks and the leaves into pieces a couple of centimeters long three to five centimeters is just fine i make mine about this big fingers length or half a fingers length and pop them aside on the board you also need to chop your celery the same way i've done this already chopping it down so not only is it a little bit thinner but it's just short lengths because as i said there's no cutting function inside any of the masticating juices the next thing that you need so i've got some kale there We've got some celery here. We've got quite a bit of ginger because that's tasty. You can leave the skin on your lemons and limes and I normally chop them into thick slices so that they go through nice and easily. We've got our apple. You can leave the core in, but you do need to chop again into little wedges so that you can pop that straight through the juicer. And then our carrots. And carrots are a great, delicious, hard vegetable but again you need to chop these ones up so that they go in nice and smoothly so I usually chop in half in half and in half and then in half so we've got those pieces there the great thing that I love about juicing carrots is that you can usually buy a big bag like these ones of juicing carrots they might have a few blemishes on the outside but they juice up beautifully and carrots as we know are great they've got vitamin a good for your eyes think bugs bunny but uh, they're also a really nice sweeter flavor for a juice so i find if you're getting into green juices using carrot in your green juice with a little bit of apple is actually a great way to make an alkaline green juice that tastes a bit sweeter and just talking about acid and alkaline kinds of foods when it comes to eating we want to have a diet that's about 80 20 acid alkaline Alkaline. So, sorry, 2080 acid alkaline. We want more alkaline foods. And all of the things that you see on this table today, except for the apple, are alkaline kinds of food. So, this is a really great healthy juice. The nutrients from this juice will hit your bloodstream in about 15 minutes and you will feel fantastic. I've just recently finished a five day juice fast, but I did nothing but juice like this in the Optimum 400 juicer for five days. And the juicer held up beautifully and I felt fantastic. So I'd really recommend, um, this is a great juicer for juice fast, for daily juice, for a quick juice, but this one's one of my favorite. Watch this. First of all, I'm gonna put some of the leafy greens in. Then I'm gonna alternate that with a little bit of the hard vegetables, which will help me to push that down. I let the hard vegetables kind of just fall in on their own, like that, and you'll see pulp comes out one side, but juice not actually coming out the other side because I've got the juicing tap in place and it's on closed. And the reason why I do that is to combine those flavors in the juicer in one go. Now, if you'd like to reduce the amount of pulp that comes into your juice, then putting the fibrous or leafy vegetables last is a technique. If you don't mind a tiny bit of pulp appearing in your juice, then I recommend actually alternating your leafy vegetables, your stringy vegetables with some of your harder vegetables or fruits. And that alternation will mean that everything gets pushed out the waste shoot and we'll find this is actually quite dry when it comes out I'm squeezing it there and there's no more liquid to come out um, and you get a great mixed juice in that way so pop them all through gently ginger of course gets squeezed so it, in comparison to a centrifugal juicer you are going to get a beautiful sweet gingery flavor in this particular juice now remember it is a slow juicer so slow masticating juices need a minute to juice. And once you've filled the bowl or nearly filled the bowl, you can open the spout. And there we can see a beautifully mixed juice coming all the way out. And having that closed prevents too much foam from those leafy vegetables building up. You can see if you need to, you can always push with your tamper just to get things going. There we go, and I can smell the ginger already. <laughs> So 
you can still see the pulp all coming out easily from the pulp shoot. I've got a nice mixed juice here and you can see that there's some juice in the bowl. The bowl holds about 300 mils at a time and you just let it out and you'll notice that there's barely any foam on the top. The juice is nearly complete and it's absolutely fresh and nutritious for you. You'll see that there's barely any pulp in this particular juice and it's just because of technique. Chop the pieces small enough to go in, feed them gently. I usually find the action of taking my hand from the board to the chute is enough time for everything to have fed through. And use your ear, you can actually hear as it squeezes a carrot, it makes a different sound to when it squeezes a apple. Every now and then if you need to, gently press into the feed tube, but it's not a centrifugal juicer. It's not like we used to use where you have to force everything in. The juice is just gonna draw the lot in on its own and create a delicious, easy juice. And to disassemble your juicer, all you need to do is turn it off and take the pieces out and you can rinse them easily underneath the tap in your sink until they're nice and clean. And you'll see that we've really squeezed out the juice in all of those things. So that's delicious, easy, simple juice. I'm going to pour it into a glass. I think I deserve some after filming today. And I usually do just to make sure that there's no excess pulp. Pop my finger or the back of a spoon in the spout here and just ensure any excess pulp stays in the jug and not in my cup. There we go. Look at that. Delicious, fresh, green juice. Cheers to your health.